All right, so let's take a look at some more bad teams and how we can use fundamentals to make them work. And in this one, I want to be much more thorough with my turn-by-turn -turn analysis. So uh, let's take a look at the first team. We have a bad team on top and a worse team on the bottom, and we're going to look at both of them. So we're going to do the not-so-bad team first. We have Hypno, Moltres, Alakazam, Persian, Rapidash, and Pidgeot. And I don't want to spend too much time uh, analyzing every Pokemon this time. I think I just want to get right into the battle, so that's what I'm going to do. Ugh, stop going so fast. Okay. So I'm going to lead Hypno, and whenever I roll a Hypno, it's a good day, because Hypno is a pretty solid lead in OU, despite not being on the OU bracket. Um, he has good special, he has Hypnosis and Thunder Wave, and he can rest pretty well. So I think he's a good lead. So Hypno Executor, I do something you might think it's a little controversial here, but I didn't want to risk my Hypno going to sleep because my Hypno is one of my better Pokemon, and I want to try to keep him if I can. So I actually go Pidgeot, not just because Pidgeot is not valuable, but because I have Mirror Move on Pidgeot, and I can, if this Executor misses his Sleep Powder, I can use his own Sleep Powder against him and put him to sleep and avoid the sleep entirely while keeping both Pokemon awake. But he lands it, which is unfortunate. So I go right back to Hypno. And uh, let's think. What do I have here? Alakazam, Rapidash, Moltres, something else. I, I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but I go back to Hypno. And this kind of ties back into I'm, I'm not in a hurry to show my Pokemon early on. Um, I want to keep my stuff hidden. And... I am considering that my opponent still has six perfectly fine Pokemon, and I don't want to let him know what I have so we can make plans, and also uh, I want to keep them healthy for later on, so I'm trying to get the most value I can out of uh, my early game Pokemon. Special drop. That stinks. Go Zapdos, and I think he dropped, went to Zapdos. What does this say? Well, I can't scroll right now. Dropped one to Zapdos and then, like, switched his Zapdos into the Hypnosis. And that's smart. I'm already kind of thinking this guy's smart because maybe he's thinking that I have a ground type or a rock type. And he's trying to uh, cover his bases by letting his electric go to sleep. So, Chansey uh, missed the Hypnosis. Go Thunder Wave. Oh, I missed the Hypnosis. I forgot. I uh, think I put something to sleep already yeah that was a misclick in this battle which made my stress hormones go through the roof because when i'm using crap teams i know i can't afford to screw up even once and then i did i clicked hypnosis i meant to click psychic on that one and i clicked hypnosis because on mobile over i don't know maybe computer too they're both pink so i'm just like mm, pink button and i hit hypnosis instead of psychic so i'm like extremely disheartened at this point because, you know, it could have made a difference getting a special drop on this Chansey early on. And instead I did Hypnosis again. And I think the only good side of doing that is making my opponent think I'm a dumb noob. So maybe he's going to, like, underestimate me a little bit more. Still, though, I was, I was a little upset. I uh, I misclicked that turn. All right, I'm going to get paralyzed. I'm just going to stay in. Now, why? Dude, thank you. Go away. Why am I opting to stay in? Um, I think I already covered this as I'm trying to expend Hypno as much as I can before I'm forced to use something worse. Yeah, I'm just trying to get drops on this Chansey. I want him to switch before I switch. I want him to switch before I switch. Because I'm retaining the leverage by hiding my Pokemon... And, you know, getting value. And he does switch. And this is hor This is a terrible move. Because I don't know if he knows, but I don't think he can kill me with Hyper Beam at this health level. 
So he goes Tauros, and I'm like, dude, why? And I can just thunder wave this Tauros and like set myself up for the late game by uh, getting, you know, spreading paralysis. So I don't know why he does this. And he, and he does body slam too, which is like, why would you do that? You know, knowing that you're going to walk yourself into a paralysis. So like, I'm just like, oh, that's good. I think that makes up for my misclick. So I just let Hypno go because I don't want to switch anything into this. I'm going to go Persian. I think that was my other one. So I go Persian because Persian can't get paralyzed by Body Slam. And I think I have a good chance of finishing off this Tauros and surviving with a Slash and a Hyper Beam. And if I'm thinking correctly, I mean, he's still doing pretty good. But I wouldn't want to switch anything to a potential 328 speed Hyper Beam knowing that I could eat a crit on the Switch, but maybe he doesn't even know I have Hyper Beam. And I think, actually, that might be the case in this battle, because he, I think he owns me a few turns from now. So Slash, yeah. Body Slam. Crit Body Slam sucks for me. And I miss the Hyper Beam, dude. Now my stressed hormones are just going crazy, because it's like, no, dude. No. Does he get full paralyzed there? Yeah, so that's good. So I can survive. But still, I, I reveal that I have Hyper Beam, and then he does this to me. So missing that Hyper Beam was catastrophic because he just blocks it with Rhydon. And now this Persian going bye-bye. So I don't like that at all. I go Alakazam. I have Reflect on this Alakazam, uh, not Seismic Toss, because I use Seismic Toss on my lead Alakazam. But if I have like a Backzam... I'll put Reflect on it to, you know, just make it a tank, you know, for the end game. And I was going to Reflect that right on and end up Reflecting this Chansey instead, which is, which is fine. Because I'm set up for any other physical switch. So, you know, my bases are covered. You can't switch into something when I'm at, like, half health and take me down. Because I'm just going to be spamming Recover. And I can 1v1 this Chansey with this Zam. I'm not worried about it. You know, I'm going to force him to switch before I switch with this, with this setup. And he's not going to be able to switch into something that can readily take me down if I have the Reflect on this Sam. So he goes into Zapdos. Um, why? Why would you do that? I guess he was going to sack the Zapdos. I think that's what he wanted to do, is sack the Zapdos and go into something else. But I think he could have just... No. I'm not sure. It ends up waking up, though. If I'm remembering correctly, yeah, it wakes up. He, he's going to do Drill Pick. He should have done Thunderbolt, but he figures it out. He figures it out, like, right after this turn. That's good for me. See? It switches to Thunderbolt. And I think I get in a pretty long-winded, like, Recover Spamming Fest. Right here. I think I ultimately end up winning this exchange, though, which I should. Yeah. Dumb. That's so dumb, dude. <clears throat> Don't do that. Don't do that. I, I already have the reflect up. The only way you're going to, like, take me down is if you get a crit. And I guess he is faster, and he did want to, like, wager it, but, um... If I were him, I would I would have just gone Executor and chipped down my special because you want to get that Zam out because he's paralyzed already. And I can't just, like, readily throw him back in, you know? Like, it's going to suck getting him back in because I have to get, get the Reflect up again and, you know, paralyze something again before I can, like, get to work with it. So he throws in this ride on, I have the Reflect, and he's like, he wants to roll for a crit on the Reflect Zam, and it's just, don't do that, dude. And then I just crit him right away, because I have a much higher crit rate. Going to go Snorlax. Paralyzed. I think he, I thought he was going to Hyper Beam, but that I think he just revealed he doesn't have Hyper Beam in that turn, because I think he would have used it to take me down. I paralyzed the Snorlax. Now, I'm actually I'm doing something here. I'm setting something up, because my last two Pokemon are Moltres and Rapidash, and I want to finish with Fire Spin. And, you know, you could be like, well, why are you going to paralyze the Snorlax? Snorlax is already slow, and he can just rest it off. Yeah, sure. 
I'm, I want to paralyze the Snorlax because I want to make him slower than me, you know, give him that one third chance of doing nothing. And, you know, maybe I could recover psychic, get some damage off on this lax, you know, it's, it's a good strategy. And farther forward, if he's paralyzed, that gives me an extra plus 1.3%, not 1.3%. 33% chance then he'll get frozen if I miss my fire spin so I can just keep fire spinning him so let's take a look at the field right now I am lined up for a finish with fire types with fire spin fire blast paralyzed 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 grass so it's not looking good for him and I'm going to use Rapidash first because I think Rapidash is the less meta of the two between Rapidash and Moltres, even though the st their strategies are essentially the same. Moltres has a Hyper Beam, and I have Body Slam on Rapidash. So I really want Hyper Beam in case this Chansey like, heals itself. And, you know, Moltres is, is stronger than Rapidash, so I'm going to use Rapidash first. But essentially, I, I pretty much line them up for the finish here with uh, Fire Spin. I think I can, yeah, so I get Rapidash out there, just start hammer and fire spin. See, you see that? I missed, he got paralyzed, I kept going, he couldn't body slam me or anything. Paralyze me, you know, make my life hard because uh, I set that up in advance. And I actually, I mess up here, I don't calculate, well, I miss for one, which sucks. And even when I do connect, I don't kill him because <laughs> I didn't use the calculator, and I thought I would. So I lose my Rapidash unnecessarily when I could have done another uh, Fire Spin turn. So I get the Moltres out, which is good because now I can, you know, go for the big finish. Hyper Beam, Fire Blast, Hyper Beam, and one last Fire Blast on this Executor. I mean, he's not going to die, then I do Hyper Beam again. I th yeah, I miss. That sucks. Which scares me because executor is scary, but yeah. So that's the uh, that's the first team of garbage. Let's take a look at the worst team. All right, so this one is Parasect, Machamp, Kangaskhan, Aerodactyl, Magneton, and Muck. Was it Muck? I think it was Muck. So just think about that lineup for a minute. That's terrible. But you know me. I love a challenge, and I want to make it work, so. I'm going to lead with Parasect, because that's pretty much the best lead I have, and I have a guaranteed sleep on something if I don't get, like, Blizzard critted, which is enough, because I want to sp spread status right away. I don't care if Parasect lives or dies, I just need status on something, and I can maybe get a Stun Spore on a Switch, and I think my other two moves are Mega Drain and Slash. Mega Drain being for if the opponent wants to, thinks I suck and they want to keep their asleep Starmie in in the beginning, I can, like, get a little more health or whatever and Slash because I don't have, like, Swords Dance, anything, because I don't plan to set up this Parasect, not at all. I'm going to roll the Slash for the, for the chip damage and die. So Parasect, kind of my Kamikaze. All right, Spore on this. And I think I just go straight for the slash, right? Yeah. That was a guessing game because I don't want to risk doing a stun spore and then Alakazam waking up. But let me think. Yeah, because he could like crit psychic me and just end my Parasect if he woke up. So I want to do the slash instead. So we got Executor. I don't want to get stun spore on this. I miss it though, which stinks. So go ahead. That's good job, Parasect. Mock, dude. Why would you put Mock in on Executor? I'm thinking about my lineup, and I'm kind of using a strategy where I want to expend my loser Pokemon first and save my good ones for the back. And believe it or not, with a team this bad, Magneton is actually a great Pokemon. I just need to make sure that I'm clear of Rhydon before I put that in. But Magneton can really make a difference for me. So I put Muck in because I can't get one... Sh I mean, I guess I could get one-shotted with Psychic if he crits, but that's a chance I'm willing to take. 
so I can survive a psychic, and I want Muck to go to sleep because he, I hate him the most. So, and he puts in Chansey, and I'm like, why? Why would you put in Chansey? What if I just exploded right away? Like, what if I just what if I just tapped explode because I knew you're going to do a sleep patter and you throw your Chansey in, and then I insta kill your Chansey? Like, I don't know what this guy is doing. So I'm like, weird. Is he messing with me? So I had Fire Blast. I actually tapped Fire Blast on that Executor, and I hit the Chansey with it. I do Body Slam after it, because I think he's going to switch out into something. I think he's going to switch into Alakazam to eat the explosion, and then he doesn't. So I'm like, maybe this guy thinks I'm bad. You know, like Maybe he thinks that he, I don't know what I'm doing. So after a long contemplation, I think I tap Explosion after this and blow up the Chansey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Like, what? Oh, wait, I get paralyzed, and it g becomes even more tense, because it's like, uh, it's like, it's like, is he on to me? Does, uh, hi, Dad. I'm like, is he on to me? Like, is does he know I'm going to explode? Like, what's going on? So I just commit anyway, and I, I take down the chance he was a fucking mock. <laughs> okay, Executor, I go Aerodactyl, because I think I hate him next to Muck, like, the second most. So Aerodactyl, let's see, Machamp. I want to keep Machamp for the big three normals. Kangaskhan is good. Um, Kangaskhan is just good, period. Like, I, Kang Kangaskhan is the UU Tauros. Go away, dude. I'm making a video. God, Dad, you're embarrassing me. Um, and Magneton. So I'd say Kangaskhan, Magneton, and Machamp are my good ones. And Machamp does have utility because, you know, he can really do some damage to the big three. So I chose Aerodactyl to come out next because nothing's asleep yet. Nothing's asleep yet, and uh, I don't want any of those three going to sleep. So I opt for Fire Blast. Let me tell you something really quick. I think I may have covered this in a previous video, but if, you, if you're going to be truly insane and use Sky Attack, I use Sky Attack because I'm a madman. Sky Attack is like an objectively bad move. But it can really pay off for you because it's 140 stab. And with Aerodactyl's crit rate, that sky attack is just juicy. It is just a juicy damage-inducing move. So I run sky attack on Aerodactyl. But it has a 10% chance to miss. So, like, you could waste all this time and effort, like, setting it up and completely flop it, which is just, like, the worst thing in the world. And if you use sky attack and you're, like, in the charge phase and you get put to sleep, you're stuck. You cannot switch. You're stuck and your opponent can do whatever they want. And if you get frozen like that, your opponent can do it even, you know, worse. So you're just snoozing. So I go for the fire blast instead. So miss, miss. He goes Alakazam. Why, dude? Why, why, why do you do this? So I'm just going to kill this Alakazam, I guess. I don't know why he did that what he was afraid of, and he's going to go Snorlax. And I'm going to do Fire Blast on the Snorlax because I want to burn it, and I do right away. Excellent. Lower that attack. He's going to try to paralyze me, I'm sure. And then I'm going to do a Sky Attack on this Lax. Yes, let's go. Try to get that juicy damage, and I do. I kill a Snorlax with an Aerodactyl. Articuno, I know I'm going to die, so I just do Hyper Beam and get a crit, which is incredible. Kangaskhan. Why Kangaskhan and not Magneton? Because he'd do this, right? Because he'd go, because he would go Executor, and I want Magneton for Articuno. I can't risk letting Magneton get put to sleep or die with this Articuno on the field because his Articuno is going to body me. So I do Kangaskhan instead. And um, if he switched back into Executor, I could still get some damage off. And when he puts me to sleep, I'm going to need something with a high special to switch back into Executor. So that's going to be Magneton, but I still get kind of stuck, really. Because, you know, I'm risking the explosion, and I have to gamble when he's going to explode so I can throw my sleeping Kangaskhan back in and eat that to retain my Magneton. So I'm in a bit of a bind here, because my last is Machamp, and Machamp is... Lackluster special, but I'm looking at that last Pokeball, and I think that's Toro, so that's another reason I'm going to need Machamp. So I'm I'm down to the wire here. So we got this Kangaskhan Executor matchup, and he switches into my Hyper Beam. 
gets the sleep powder. His health is low, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I think he wants to do psychic, yeah. Right here was just a hard, hard moment for me. It was a hard moment for me. Because I'm like, oh, dude, like, what if he explodes and my magneton's gone? Maybe I should go back to Kangaskhan, the classic executor dance where he's shooting at your feet and making you dance because you don't know what he's going to do. And uh, I thought about putting my Kanga back in, but then he would, you know, psychic the Kanga, then I have to put the magneton back in, and then I'm like, I'm like double screwed, you know, on health. But he doesn't do any, he actually puts Alakazam back in. I don't know why. Oh, and so I was going to do supersonic because I didn't want him to explode. That was my remedy for the situation is confuse him and then, like, maybe try to take him down. I was just in a tough situation either way. So I think I was going to, like, confuse him and then maybe go Kangaskhan, then Machamp, Hyper Beam. But that's hard, dude. I'm just, I'm just in a bind. Like, I think I'm going to lose at this point. But he does this, which is like, why? Thank you, but why? So I go Machamp because I want Magneton more than I want uh, Machamp, and I can finish. That was a speed tie, by the way. That was not a guarantee. He could have hit me with a Psychic there and killed me. So, But I, I win the speed tie, and I can Hyper Beam this too. So I get, I get as lucky as I can, but I don't Hyper Beam it. Interesting take. Interesting take. Yes, that's right, because I want my Machamp at full health to fight the Tauros. Full health to fight the Tauros, and this Magneton can survive a blizzard from Articuno, because Magneton has 338 special. So I, I let him kill the Kangaskhan so I get the free switch into a Magneton, and I don't know if he sees it, but I think this is the best thing I could have done, because even if he goes Tauros here, let's see, well, can I survive an Earthquake? I, I think I can survive Earthquake and hyper beam with this magneton so i can get i can get a um a um what am i trying to say thunder wave i can get a thunder wave on the tauros or yeah no that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to get a thunder wave on the tauros so i can go to town on but that might not even be the best strategy in this end game the best strategy may have been what I'm what I'd actually end up doing. Uh, because Articuno let's see no, I mmm. Mmm. Comes back in. By all accounts, I should have lost this game. I think. Let's see. Against me, submission, body slam, hyper beam, blizzard kills me. Yeah, he does agility, but he's already faster than everything, so I don't know why he did that. Machamp. Kangaskhan, Magneton. At this point, I think I just want Articuno or um, Machamp for last so I can face this. And that's what ends up happening. It's the final showdown. Machamp versus Tauros. Thank God I land that submission. Thank God. If I would have missed that, I would have lost. He thinks he can kill me with, with Hyper Beam. No, Machamp is really bulky. He works out, dude. He works out. He's got hard muscles. You can't hyper beam him like that. So I knew I was going to survive that H beam. I think that's why I wanted them at full health. And then a uh, big finish with the crap against that team. So, uh, yeah, there you have it. Um, closing words. I suppose... Just when you're when you're so used to the meta, there are ways to play around it and structure your teams accordingly. And I boxed when I was younger, you know, like with fists in a boxing gym. And we had a big ring and we had a small ring. 
And it was the small ring was hard because there was nowhere to run, right? But it, the saying was, once you get to the big ring, then it's going to be like riding in a Cadillac. So if you're if you're training with crap and then you graduate to good Pokemon and still use those fundamentals, then you're going to blow through the ladder. I mean, blow through it. You know, I've been to 1,500 four times, maybe five. Maybe I'm not thinking correctly on, like, different accounts. Once with a Charizard, too. So, you know, I mean, you're just, you're going to blow through it if you if you start understanding the fundamentals of the game. You can beat teams like this with teams like this just by, like, kind of having careful consideration with what you're going to do in uh, in the future by planning ahead and really taking your time and figuring out how to maximize your utility.